Today I'm seeing a 73 year old lady who's complained of a one week history of left eye irritation and discomfort. We can see on examination that she's pseudophagic and she had cataract surgery, she reports quite some time ago. Is that right? Yes. Okay, that's fine. All right. Now, on the cornea, we can see there is actually some haziness over the front surface, which appears to be subepithelial. Okay. And when we look at the fluorescein, well, it's really epithelial, isn't it? Because there is some fluorescein uptake there. Just blink for me there. Oh, that's right. And we managed to move, remove a very, very long hair from underneath the conjunctiva, which we pulled all the way out. And I'm wondering whether this fluorescein uptake here is just from some rubbing, because it looks quite fresh there. Now looking inside the eye, there's no AC activity. But one thing you can appreciate in this case, let's just try and focus on the, um, we, can we manage to focus on the, yeah, maybe we can, it's a bit tricky, is that you can see there's a very well demarcated line in the posterior capsule. And that tells us that this lady has had a YAG capsulotomy in the past. So you've had laser after your cataract surgery, is that right? Yeah, straight after. Straight after. And that was because of a bit of hazing of the lens, was it? No, it's because I had, um, they needed to do the laser. Yes. Uh, so they did the cataract. Yes. Because they couldn't get to oh, what they wanted oh, to do at yeah, the back that's, of the that's eye. That's something separate altogether, isn't it? Okay. Right, and then let's have a look at the endothelium here as well. And let's just have a look there and see, because I think there are there is some evidence of some gutata there as well. If we can, I don't know if we can get a good image of that. I think yeah, well, there we go, we can. So there is some corneal gutata present. So maybe this lady has a bit of. Fuchs endothelial dystrophy, uh, which could be contributing to the slight haziness she's describing. There's also a pingecula there as well, which could be the cause of some of her ocular surface symptoms as well. Look all the way to the left for me there. To the left, that's great. Okay, and look straight ahead again now for me, into the light, that's it. Great. Okay. Now, let's just have a look at the back of this left eye while we're here, because you've had you've got diabetes, don't you? Yes. And you've had quite a lot of laser in the back of the eye for that, haven't you? So yes. for, forehead all the way forwards for me, if that's okay. Thank you. And let's see if we can see anything there. Let's just zoom out slightly. Forward all the way forward for me. So what we're seeing here is some laser marks there from previous handwritten photocoagulation. See the optic disc there? It's a slightly hazy view even through the set lamp. Maybe some old fibrovascular proliferation which is making that appearance. But over there we can see the PRP has been done quite extensively, quite close to the arcade there. Can I just ask you to look down for me? And you can see here more extensive laser has been done so it doesn't really look like there's any more room to do any more laser in this eye is there no no more room is that what they said that's what mr muhammad said right well i would agree now let's have a look at the other eye because you've also had cataract surgery on this other eye haven't you yeah i had that way before the other one wide open for me straight ahead for me there let's have a look at that cornea again okay 
and I think we can see on this eye the guttata are a bit more obvious. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit more on that one here. Yeah. So you can see those guttata on the endothelium. That's a pretty good. It's a pretty good image. Okay. Now you had the cataract surgery a long time ago. Okay. And let's just have a look at that. So what we can see there is there's actually some Irish translumination defect at the top there. And to me, that looks as if that was probably from phaco trauma. That's just something that can happen during the surgery. And you can appreciate that she's pseudophagic. And that everything looks otherwise very, very nice there. All right. Let's just have a look to finish at the back of the eye in that right eye. Look towards my ear on that side for me. Forehead all the way forwards for me, that's really great. Look towards my ear on that side for me. Let's just unzoom that slightly, there we go. See this again, you know, quite extensive laser tan to the back of this eye here. Was that all done quite a long time ago? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go back to the eighties. Really? Wow. And the other thing that we were talking about was there was a small hemorrhage near the macula, weren't we? Yeah, we can see there's a small hemorrhage there. And you've got an appointment coming up soon, haven't you? Because you're being investigated for query, you know, either macular degeneration or that's a worsening of diabetes or some macular edema fluid. So you're coming to Gloucester in November, isn't it? That's right. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for allowing us to take this video. Hopefully it'll be really useful for teaching.